Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's been a while since I've created a video. I've been kind of uh, taking a little bit of a break, but today I'm gonna be working on uh, repairing, or actually it's not even a repair. This one is just gonna be simply replacing this joystick. Um, you can see it's a little wobbly and worn out. So I did pick up um, these pieces right here. Uh, I bought them online. I forgot the name of the website, but once I find it, I'll go ahead and include it in the link in the description so you can go ahead and follow that they're pretty cheap as opposed to buying uh the entire module that will be in here once i open it and you can check that out um i think these run about maybe mm, maybe three or four dollars for everything it does have a little bit of a different stick here as you can see this is a clear one i have another one if you like the other color let me see if i can pull that out real quick so this is uh, the white variant. So you can see the, the difference between the two. This one looks a little bit, um, I don't know, it's it's okay. It's not too bad. So like if you compare it, you can see how different that will stand out. I think the clear one looks just a little bit better. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and open this up so that we can go ahead and start replacing this joystick. So when opening this up, be sure to get the two screws that are in there. You can probably see them. That way you don't try to force it open and break it. So the next thing, once you open it, is you're gonna wanna re remove this cable here that's attached to this analog stick right here so it comes as an entire module so this is the the piece the inside once we open it you'll see what i'm talking about but it is attached to this cable here and we're gonna have to go ahead and remove it so just be careful Let's just wedge it enough to get it released so there we go that's removed so here's just the z button we're gonna go ahead and clean all this in a little bit so here is the actual chip for that. Just make sure not to break it. Just move it to the side. And then this is held down uh, by these three screws that are attached to this here. So let's just go ahead and remove these. All right. So once those are removed, so now you can see that this is the analog that we're going to be working with. You can see how wobbly this is. It's, uh, this tends to happen due to the way it's made. Like right here, you can see, whoops, right here you can see that it's just made out of plastic. It's not, it's not that very good quality. Uh, they do make some different ones. They're pretty pricey. I think they're like steel sticks. I don't know the name of the brand, but I've just kind of browsed around. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open up this module next so that we can go ahead and start the repair. Now, one of the things I wanna note is that when you do open this, you gotta be careful. So you just gotta make sure that you're holding it kind of firm. Um, there is a spring in here and if you're not holding it, it's barely latched on by these things here. Um, it can just kind of spring out and, and shoot all the components. So it's just good. That way you don't lose anything and you kind of know exactly how to put it, everything back together. Uh, it's not necessarily the end of the world, but I mean, it's, it's just don't want to make a mess and, you know, deal with all that. So, like I said, here you can see it's trying to spring open. We're simply just going to lift this up a little bit so we can start opening it up here. Now I'm just being real careful because I don't want it to, to open up fully. So you can see it's already open. I'm, I'm holding onto the two pieces. So... Whoops. You can see once we open it up, kind of the mess that's in there, you can see all that powder, everything, all that kind of plastic that's just kind of been rubbed out, causes this poor contact. So we're gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff. But one of the things that's important, and the only reason I'm holding it here is because um, 
there are two pieces that are used um, to handle the rotation. Like there's these little black pieces of plastic. And let me just kind of put this to the side for a bit. So you have these two pieces right here. And as you can see, one of them is a little longer of a cutout than the other. You can see this smaller one right here, as opposed to this one being a little bit longer. So the reason why this is important is because you want to know the orientation and kind of where it goes when we're putting everything back together. So if you can see here, the top piece tends to be the smaller one. You can see that that's a smaller cutout. And if you're looking at the orientation of this, this is going to be facing upwards with this little gear or the rotation piece on top. Um, the other thing to note is that the spring, that the spring here, um, it is actually a little bit wider on one side and you just got to make sure that the way that you put that back in is in the correct order and i'll go ahead and explain that anyway as i'm putting it so here you can also see that this is kind of the other black piece that i was talking about here right this is the longer one with the axle or this little gear portion sorry that does it handles the rotation on the right side right there uh let's take a look so this is just pretty dirty. We're gonna go ahead and clean this board up. It's a little tiny one. We're gonna have to put this back together once we're done, but nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and replace everything. So now going back to this, we're gonna go ahead and take this out. And one of the easiest ways to do that is just turn it to the side, hold this and then turn it to the side. Now we're gonna take this piece out. And you're gonna notice that this thing here on the ring on the spring is actually wider on the top. So the smaller side ends up facing the plastic. So you put that as a smaller side and this thing as well, this plastic, you can see it kind of has a groove right there. This is gonna go inside fitted into the wider part. Whoops, into the wider part of the, of the spring here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this, um, chip here real quick i uh i know normally i use 100 or 99 ipa i think it just looks like kind of like old plastic i think so using a regular toothbrush just dry might be good enough let's take a look and here we go um no, it looks like we might have to use both it's quite a bit of plastic that's still stuck on there kind of clean it out i think i put a little bit too much but it should be okay it's not gonna harm it or anything so i went ahead and put some isopropyl alcohol 99 percent then just give it a nice little brush here just to kind of clean out all the components just to kind of give it a nice finish uh let's take a look so i think that looks pretty good it's nice and clean so the other things that we're gonna end up cleaning are these pieces here. Now, this one's a little bit tricky. We are gonna replace, uh, I believe this thing, the white piece is called a rocker. I could be wrong, but let's go ahead and take out this piece. This is gonna be trash. It's gonna just remember the orientation. So this is gonna be trash. I'm gonna put it aside because I'm gonna throw it away anyway. Um, now the rocker, it, I'm gonna call it a rocker. Hopefully it's uh, the right, name for it if it's wrong then just you correct me in the comments uh but the, one of the things that we want to know is here's the uh orientation right and i think it only fits one way you can kind of see the cutouts that you got that top and that right piece so i mean it's kind of hard to mess that up but one of the things that you want to do is um at least it didn't come with it or maybe i forgot to order it but these little uh gears here we're gonna put them into the new rocker so you can see it here we're gonna just move those over into the one on the left, the new one. And, uh, but before we do that, we wanna make sure that we clean all this stuff out. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't think they're different sizes. I can probably check that right now. And let's take a look. They look roughly the same. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters, but I mean, just to be on the safe side, just make sure to put them back in the same way. I, I really don't think they're different, but we're gonna go ahead and clean this. 
we're gonna get rid of this rock currently it still might be good but i'm gonna get rid of it i, I have no use for it we're gonna clean out the spring and the plastic housing that it comes with so all you got to really do for this is just put it under some water let it let it dry out after that um you should be good to go and then we'll put everything back together all right so i'll be right back i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and i'll be back once everything's dry and we can continue from there all right so it looks like we got everything pretty decently cleaned we're gonna go ahead and start reassembling this so we're gonna start with a rocker first all right um we're gonna go ahead and just simply put this it has a groove here as you can see like uh this little cutout right there so that you can line up this piece the, oh sorry the this piece right here into it so you just slide it in and when you put it in you're just gonna have to kind of lift up this arm over here this one right here just so that you can snap it into place and so there you go this one's in you can see just make sure that it's turning and you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Just slide it in there and then also just kind of lift it, make sure not to bend it. And that one's in there as well. So we're pretty good on this side. Uh, simply just put it into the housing. So you can see there that it fits and everything looks good. So one of the things you're gonna wanna do is put some grease on it. I use this uh, super lube, it's already open, but I just tend to get like a little piece of, of uh, cotton swab here. Just get enough of that and just kind of slide it inside right here and all over the area. I may have put a little bit too much, but even then it's not gonna harm it. Um, just kind of thin it out. I use the other dry part just to kind of thin it out a little bit. Go ahead and throw that piece away. But one of the things that you're going to want to do as well is uh, apply some of the grease into all these four cutouts right here. There's kind of like a little U shape on all four sides. That's um, where this stuff is going to rest when it turns. So it helps to put a little bit of grease on that. And so you don't have to put too much. Just kind of put enough on there. There you go some there as well just put them on all four sides okay now that that's done we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything back together and we want to start with putting this longer cutout first with this side to the right so there you can see it you kind of want to slide a little bit just to kind of get the grease in there and when you're setting it, you want to make sure that it's aligned exactly uh, perfect in the middle, right? You want to center that. Next, we're going to want to put the chip, the wire. So this is going to go just simply in here. There's going to be perfectly laid out. So you can see that it has two indentations here for, or the two cutouts so that you can put it in there and make sure that if you do set it to realign and center this piece, we're now gonna go ahead and put the top housing. And in order to do this, you just simply slide in uh, the joystick in there, just kind of turn it. I mean, there's some grooves that won't allow you, don't force it in there. I mean, it should just slide in there pretty quick. Um, then I, I just normally kind of hold it over here on this other side. Now, remember on the spring, there's gonna be one side that's a little more uh, smaller than the other, the side's wider. So the wider side is going to be facing towards you and the smaller side is going to be uh, into the plastic. So we go ahead and put that in there. And then this next piece, um, the gear side or the, the part that rotates is going to be on the longer, flatter side of this housing. So we're going to go ahead and just simply put it there. But when you put it, uh, you got to turn the joystick so that it's perpendicular. There we go. All right. So the final result should look something like this, right? So you can kind of use this for reference. The longer side has this gear. This uh, joystick is going to be facing horizontal, right? So long ways. Uh, and that makes sure that it keeps everything in place. So the reason why you want to keep everything centered and nice and neat 
is because this uh, plastic piece up here is gonna end up fitting into that slot right there. So simply all you gotta do here now is just put it together and make sure you don't wiggle it too much. It should just snap in and there we go. And then just from here, you can just test to see that everything's working. If it's not, then you're gonna have to probably just try to realign it. Sometimes that tends to happen if you don't put it in properly. So once you have that set up, just get the black screw that came with the housing, right? And then just simply screw that in place so that way it doesn't move. So we wanna now test this piece to see that everything's working. So I'm just gonna loosely put everything together. I'm not gonna screw the entire remote because uh, sometimes there are issues and it's just kind of a pain to, you know, screw everything and then um, what, you figure out that it's broken. You gotta undo everything all over again. It's just a big waste of time. So. I mean, just loosely put everything back together. All right, so just kind of put the, we're gonna wanna put the wire back in. So there we go, so that one's in. And for this one, I'm actually just only gonna put one screw and that's just to kind of hold it down uh, otherwise it's gonna be moving all over the place and I really don't wanna be dealing with that right now. So, we'll just put this back together. I'm gonna put this back in here. This is where the Z button goes and just put this little rubber piece back. Like I said, I'm not gonna put everything right so the our buttons the left and right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put those for now i'm just gonna put this back just for testing make sure that everything's working so here we can see that it's back on there and we're gonna go ahead and just connect it so we're gonna fire this up make sure everything's good here's our remote all right so let's test it out we're gonna move up down left right Everything seems to be feeling really good. All right, I mean, this thing is pretty snappy. It looks good. Goes back where it's supposed to. Yeah, overall, I mean, this feels really nice. I uh, would highly recommend it. I mean, I know there's have been a couple of people that may have had issues. I don't know. I haven't come across any on my end. Um, could it be just that it needs to be kind of broken in? I don't know, I mean, but I haven't had issues. Like I said, I mean, you can see here for yourself, everything's looking pretty good. So I do want to take the time to mention that um, I've been taking a couple of weeks off recently to do some of the other things that have been going on. I mean, my kids just started school, but I do plan on picking this up again and start working on some other repair videos. I have plenty of things to go through. I think I have one Nintendo 64 left uh, that I have to uh, pretty much try to fix and find out what's going on. But I have a whole lot of handhelds that I'm, I plan to create some videos. And I think it's like 50 some, so I will create some as I, as I go on these next couple of weeks. I'll try to update more frequently uh, as to how I had it before, which was once a week. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment below. If there's something that you guys are interested in looking at in terms of repair, uh, I can definitely work on some of those things. And I'm just happy to collaborate with anyone that has a couple of questions regarding this stuff. Like I said, um, I'm pretty new to this whole scene, but I definitely love repairing these things. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. So I hope to see you guys next time and I hope you enjoyed the video. See y'all.